the family of a missing postal service worker who disappeared while pregnant five years ago is still hoping and praying for her return. Today would have been her 31st birthday. Fox 32's Nate Rogers was there today where family and friends gathered for comfort and support while continuing to look for answers. Nate. It's a story we've brought you now for nearly five years. A missing woman, a, a postal worker, pregnant at the time and still no sign of her. We spoke to her mother today who said she's even reluctant to call police now to check in because she continues to hear the same thing. No new information. Even after a person of interest identified also surveillance video, the mother says she has received no answers. On her 31st birthday, family members celebrating a woman who loved doing makeup, taking pictures, and dancing. She especially loved her job as a postal worker and was looking forward to being a mom. As the years get go on, it get harder and harder. It definitely with the police not doing what they're supposed to do to me. Kira Cole was last seen October 2nd, 2018, near 83rd and King Drive. Detectives have obtained the surveillance footage of Cole leaving her home with a person of interest before driving to a nearby ATM and making two cash withdrawals. The next day, the person of interest is seen parking Kira's vehicle near her residence before entering the building and exiting with unknown items. He then drives away in his personal vehicle that was parked on the block overnight. Five years later, after a joint investigation between CPD and the U.S. Postal Inspection Service, no publicly named suspects and no arrests. They said that they didn't have a motive. At today's gathering, other mothers of missing children present, like LaShawn Walker, whose daughter and grandson vanished from Gary, Indiana, eight years ago. It's different when your loved one is put to rest. But we just continuously have to wonder whether they're still alive or not. Also, Darian Albert's mom, the Finger High School honor roll student, beaten to death in 2009. Cole's mother once again begging, pleading for someone, anyone, to speak up. Because if it was your child, your mother, your sister, your grandmother, you would be begging for the same help that I'm standing here begging for. You would be begging everybody for the same help. So I think if you know anything, I'm begging you to just call the police anonymous and leave a tip. And it's certainly one of the largest cash rewards that we've reported on locally um, in terms of these types of cases. Nearly $70,000, 68000 to be exact, for any information that leads to an arrest and conviction in this case. Of course, tips can be made anonymously. We also reached out to Chicago police to hear um, if they know anything more. They've told us no new information at this time. Reporting downtown, I'm Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago.